Uh, you are welcome back again to uh, Dr. OJ's tutorial class. In this video, we shall be talking about uh, limits of rational functions. Don't forget to click on the notification button so that each time I upload a new video, you'll be duly informed. Now, limits of rational functions. Before now, we've discussed extensively of rational functions. We've discussed this in our previous videos. Rational functions are functions that have the form of a fraction. That is, functions that have uh, numeration, have numerators and uh, denominators in their expressions. They are called uh, rational functions. Sometimes, when we want to evaluate functions that are rational, like this, limit of f of x all over g of x as s tends to a, we may have uh, limit of f of x to be 0 and limit of g of x to be 0. We may obtain 0 as numerator, 0 as denominator. So if that happens, it will be difficult for us to apply uh, the uh, limit theory or the rules of limit directly. Because uh, there is no way we have 0 over 0 and we say that limit exists. No, what we need to do is we have to apply some uh, you know, methods like factorization method or multiplying with a suitable conjugate to be able to solve such a problem. So in this case, I want to illustrate how this could be done with uh, very useful examples. Very useful examples. Let's illustrate how we can solve problems that uh, give us undefined uh, value so that uh, we're able to know what to do and what not to do to get them solved. Now, now, the first one, evaluate. Evaluate. The first one, evaluate. Limit as S tends to 7 of S squared minus 49 all over x minus 7. Now in this case, if we apply I mean, if you apply if we apply s to be 7 here, we end up having this one will be what? 7 squared minus 49 all over 7 minus 7. 7 squared is 49. 49 minus 49 will be 0. All over 7 minus 7 is 0. You can see it has given us a uh, undefined value, the value is undefined, or you can call it infinity. Whereas, if we can carry out some algebraic uh, operations, the result we are going to obtain will not be, uh, will not be uh, uh, undefined. So, how do we now go about this? Let's see. Now, if you look at the numerator closely, you see that the numerator and the denominator, they have something in common. Yes, they have something in common. The, the, the numerator has, uh, you know, a, a degree 2, while the denominator has degree 1. So it's, it's very possible that we can get uh, factors of, uh, you know, uh, numerator in that denominator. So I'm looking closely at the numerator, you see that uh, this numerator has a difference of two squares. This is x squared minus 49. So we can write it as x squared minus 7 squared. That's the numerator. So we can, it's just like this. Just like limits as x tends to 7 of x squared minus 7 squared all over x minus 7. That's another way of writing this. And if you can still remember very well, in our knowledge of uh, difference of two squares, we are recall, recall, a squared minus b squared, that's difference of two squares, is equal to what? a minus b into bracket a plus b. That's the factorized value of uh, a squared minus b squared. So this is very similar to this. They are the same thing. You can see? Different sign between two squares. Different sign between two squares. So that implies we have this one. What? X minus 7 into bracket X plus 7. All over what? All over X minus 7. The X minus 7 here, we completely cancel this out. So we are now left with what? Limit as X tends to 7 of X plus 7. So putting 7 in place of X, you have what? 7 plus 7. And this was what? 14. So you can see that uh, that is that about that. 14 is the answer. What you previously thought doesn't have a uh, limit, actually have limit. When you, you know, uh, when you look at it closely and uh, you solve it using algebraic uh, factorization. Now, the next question. The next question. The next question says, evaluate. Evaluate. Limit as a uh, S tends to S tends to one limit as S tends to one of 
x minus 1 all over x cubed minus 1. Fine. Now, how do we go about this? To go about this, let's look at denominator and denominator. This is a rational function too. If we put s to be 1 here, this will be 1 minus 1, 0 over 1 cube, that's 1. 1 minus 1 over 0, it's still going to give us undefined value, which is not supposed to be. If that would be wrong, that would be wrong, because we can carry out an operation here. And which operation? Is that the, uh, the, the denominator here has a cubic, uh, it's a cubic expression, it's a cubic function. The, the degree of the denominator is 3, and the degree of the numerator is 1. So, since the degree of the denominator is more than that of a numerator, we can, we can factorize. We can find a factor of uh, s minus 1 from the, you know, denominator. Now, to do that, let's use our long division that we are used to. Now, dividing s cubed minus 1 by x minus 1. Okay? s cubed over x, that will give us what? s squared. That is, s cubed all over x. So, you get what? x squared there. x squared. So multiply x squared by x minus 1. That we've got x cubed, then minus uh, x squared. Now subtract this from this. By the time you introduce minus sign here, this one will change to plus sign. So the x cubed minus x cubed cancel. You, know, you are going to be left with what? x squared minus 1. Yes, you bring out minus 1 down. Okay? Now divide x squared by x as well. That will be plus x. That is x squared. All over x. Everything is plus plus, so it may want x. That's plus x. So multiply plus x by x minus 1. x times x is x squared. Then x times minus 1, that will give us what? Minus x. Okay? Now, subtract as well. Introduce minus sign here. This one will change to plus. x squared minus x squared, 0. Then plus x minus 1. x, you bring down minus 1. So you are done. You are done because uh, you, are, you are almost there. You see that? Now, x minus 1, x minus 1. So, x in x, that's plus 1. Okay? Plus 1 times x minus 1. x minus 1. So, you can see that that's the reason why I said you are done. Because you have actually got into the last stage of the, of the problem. So, now we can now say, we can now say that we can rewrite the problem now. Now we rewrite. Now we rewrite as, we write as limits. We write the problem as uh, x minus 1 all over as s tends to 1 of the whole of this now will become what? x minus 1, which is our divisor, into brackets, uh, the value we obtain as our, van, uh, as our answer, s squared plus uh, x plus 1. So, now, obviously, this we cancel out this. So, we are now left with what? Limit as s tends to 1 of 1 all over, because it means 1 here now, x squared plus x plus 1. Now, substitution. That will be what? 1 all over 1 squared plus 1 plus 1. And that will be what? 1 all over 3. So the limiting value of that problem is 1 all over 3. So that's, we have come to the end of these uh, uh, problems. So in the next video, we shall uh, uh, extract all other things related to limits. Stay blessed and God bless you.